In this video we're going to be learning about telling time and converting between analog time and digital time and 24 hour time. Uh, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to look at these pictures of these analog clock faces here and we're just going to get some language out of the way first. So on an analog clock face like in these pictures here you have a little arm so we're going to call it little arm which is the little yellow arm that you see in the pictures here and you also have the big arm which is the green arm that you see in these pictures. So the little arm, okay, it tells you what hour the time is, so what hour of the day it is. And the big arm tells you the minutes. There will also be another arm on an analog clock, a really thin arm, and that's going to be telling you the seconds. So the really thin arm, okay, we'll call that the thin arm, which is blue in these pictures, is going to tell you the seconds. Anyway, in these two pictures, okay, the hour is 8 o'clock in both of them, but the minutes are different. So in this left picture here, the minutes arm or the big arm is on the 2, and that's telling us that it's 10 minutes past 8, okay. In the right picture here, the minutes arm is on the 10, and that's telling, it's, telling us that it's 10 minutes to 8. So whenever the big arm, okay, whenever the big arm is on the left side of the clock face, like in this picture, okay, okay, it's telling you 2. Whenever it's to the right of the 12, or on the right side of the clock face, like in this picture, it's telling you that it is past an hour. So you would say that this picture here is 10 past 8. Whereas in this picture here, you would say it is 10 to 8. We're describing that 8 in two different ways. So when a question asks you to write the time in words, this is the sort of thing you need to write. You'd write 10 past 8 or 10 to 8. Anyway, moving on. Let's look at our examples today. So in our examples, it says we need to convert the following times to AM, PM time and convert the following times to 24 hour time. So AM and PM, you might have heard of this before, you might not have. So AM stands for antimeridian which is a fancy way of saying morning. PM stands for post-meridian, which is a fancy way of saying the afternoon. The afternoon. Now, in our first example here, it says convert the following times to AM, PM time. Now, these times here are in 24-hour time. So 24 hour time is a way that we can write time using four digits, okay, and it starts at 0000, which is midnight, okay, so it starts at midnight, okay, it moves all the way up to 1200 or 1200, which is noon or midday. Okay, and then it moves all the way to 2400, which is midnight again, the next day. Okay, and in between there, we have all of the numbers in between. So midnight, okay, 12 hours later, it's 12 noon or 12 midday, and then 12 hours later at 2400, it's midnight again. Now you'll be thinking, but sir, there's two midnights here. Well, you're right. 0000 and 2400, okay, they're exactly the same time. But generally, when we're writing things in 24 hour time, we're going to write them using this terminology here, the, the four zeros. Okay, so if you had to write a time in 24 hour time, it would look something like this, which is what we see in this first example. So our first number here is 1530. So 1530 fits somewhere in here. Okay, 1530 is between 1200 and 2400. Now, 
1200 is 12 o'clock in the midday, okay? And every hour that we go up, okay, is going to go up by 100. So we've started at 12, okay? We'll write this down here, 1200 is 12 midday, okay? And every hour we go up, we go up 100 on our 24 hour time. So 1300 is 1 p.m., so 1 o'clock in the afternoon, 1400 is going to be 2 p.m. or 2 o'clock in the afternoon, 1500, so we're going up another 100, is going to be 3 p.m. or 3 o'clock in the afternoon, which is about the time that our bell goes when we finish school. Now our time here is 1530, that 30 is telling me that it is 330, so 30 minutes past 3 o'clock is going to be 3 30 p.m. Okay, our second one here is 0425. Okay, that's going to fit in here somewhere. So 0425, that's between midnight and midday. Okay, so how many hours past midnight is it? Well, it's four hours past midnight. So it's going to be 425. Okay, and because it's in the morning, it's going to be a.m. So remember that a.m. or anti-meridian means the morning. 1200, 12 noon, well that's our midday. So you would say 12 noon. Okay, you wouldn't write 12 a.m., you could write 12 noon, or you could say 12 p.m. Either of those answers is acceptable. In our second lot of questions here, we have to do the opposite of what we did. We have to turn our AM PM times into 24 hour times. Now there's a really easy trick to doing this. All you have to do to turn an AM PM time into a 24 hour time is to add a 12 to it. Okay, you add a 12 to the hours. Okay, not the minutes, only the hours. So we have two hours here, so 2.30, so We'll do it down here. Let me just rub this out. Okay, so 2.30. Now we need to add 12 hours to it to turn it into 24 hour time. So if I were to add plus 12, okay, I'm going to get 14.30, okay? And you write it like this, 14.30. You don't have to put in the two dots. So you just take those two dots away in your final answer, your 24 hour time is 14.30. Okay, now that only works for PM times. When it's an AM time, okay, we don't add 12 hours, okay, all you have to do when it's an AM is you just have to put a zero first. So 0320, okay, we're just putting a little zero here. That works for AMs. Okay, we have another AM here as well. So you might be thinking, sir, do I still put a zero at the front? Well, yes, you do. Zero, one, 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 five. Okay, but 24 hour times only got four digits. So what that means is this zero here, okay, it's not telling us anything, so we just get rid of it. Our 24 hour time for 11.15 a.m. in the morning is just 11.15, it's exactly the same. All we've done is taken the two dots out. In our last question here, it says, express the time on the clock face shown below in words in 24 hour time if it is night time. Okay, that's the important bit. So let's look at our little hand. Okay, that's telling us the hours. And the little hand is pointing to the 10. So it's 10 something. Our minutes hand is 10 past, so the time is 10, 10. Okay, now it's asking us to tell us in words. So in words, you would say 10 past 10. And it's telling us if it is night time. So 10 past 10 at night would be our sentence in words, okay? 10.10, 10, well it's night time, so the way we would write it here would be 10.10 10 p.m. And it's also asking for the 24 hour time, 
So you might remember when it's PM, okay, to turn a PM into a 24 hour time, you add the 12 to the hours. So 10, 10 plus 12 is going to be 22, 10. So our final answer here, it's 10, 10 p.m. And we write it in words, we have 10 past 10 at night and our 24 hour time is going to be 22, 10.